Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be unboxing this 118 scale Jeep Wrangler Sahara made by Maisto. I found this model on Amazon for around $27. It was from Amazon Warehouse Deals. And as you know, with Amazon Warehouse Deals, they sell items that are either returns or items that might have some damaged uh, boxes and everything. In the case of this box, it is slightly damaged, but not really all that much. Um, I've get, definitely gotten much, much worse. I mean, you have a little crease back there. But the window is still attached to the cardboard. A lot of times with these Maisto boxes, when they do get damaged, the window kind of caves in. But in the case of this one, it wasn't damaged enough to where the window separated with its glue from the rest of, of the box. But Maisto no longer makes the Sahara version of the Jeep TJ Wrangler. They do still make the Rubicon version, which I do have. Um, that one has no roof and has different wheels and different colors and stuff. But... Um, this one had a 2021 copyright date on the box, so this is probably one of the last ones that was made, because Maisto discontinued it for their 2022 um, catalog. You can still get the Rubicon version, but this one, you can still find it on, like, Amazon and everything, but I think its regular price is now more than $40, just because it has been discontinued. So I would have paid that much for it if I didn't get it from um, warehouse deals. But um, I ended up getting the black version. It was a Colors May Vary listing, and you can get this either in burgundy, white, or black. In this case, Amazon sent me a black one, and I think it looks pretty cool in black, especially with that brown roof back there. As you can see, it's in the standard uh, Maisto box. You have the name of the, of the truck on the front there, special edition, stuff on the back, more damage. <laughs> and then you have all this stuff down here, and here's a sticker that Amazon gives you when you buy an item from them. Thanks to you, this product has a second life. I'm glad I could give it a second life and a new home. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, Wrangler out of the box. You have this, uh, this side flap on here. And we'll go ahead and get it out. And this box is actually good enough where I can save it. Sometimes I get Amazon Warehouse deals items where the boxes are so bad, I, I just have to toss them. But this one is salvageable, so that's good. I can use it for storing the model when I don't have it up on the shelf. So let's pull this out. Kind of hard to do with one hand. I can pull this off here. There we go. I was trying to like rest the phone on the on like the window like that so you could see the inside, but it didn't work. <laughs> but anyway, here is the Wrangler out of the box and on the base. Looks really cool in that black with that brown roof and everything. A little bit of dust on it. It's got some extra plastic on there, which is weird. But um, here's the Wrangler, and it's going to be held on by two screws on the base, as you'll see right here. So we'll go ahead and get those screws off next. And as I'll say when I review this model, this is based off the 2003 to 2004 Wrangler Sahara, based off the seats and everything. They actually dropped the Sahara trim from the two-door Wrangler model after 2004. But um, when the next generation Wrangler came out in 2007, I think the Unlimited, which is the four-door version, I think that came with the Sahara trim, but they didn't bring it back for the two-door, which is kind of weird, but um, interesting fact, I, just, I guess I should say. Um, let's get this last screw out of here. All right, we got the model unscrewed. I'm not sure what's up with this extra plastic in here. I guess it kind of holds the model in place better or something. Yeah, look, it even damaged the the black base a little bit, which is weird. Oh, well, whatever. All right, well, here's the Wrangler off the base and everything. Looks really cool in, in that black. Um, we'll go ahead and get all these straps off. You have one holding shut this rear door, and then you have one holding shut these doors, and then one holding shut the hood. So we'll go ahead and get these off next. Oh, and this does have the adjustable antenna like the Rubicon does. That's very cool. Let's go ahead and get all these straps off. There is some rubbing on the roof, it looks like, but I can probably fix that. All right, let's get the straps off. Um, this one's just a little kind of band back here. There we go. All right, that one's off now, too. And this model was made in 2020, the 50th week of 2020. This is how you read these little stamps on the bottoms of these Maisto cars. The one is the factory code. The second two numbers are the year, and the and the last two numbers are the are like the week number. So 
This was made in December of 2020, basically, based off the numbers you see on the bottom here. All right, we got these straps off. These are always hard to get untangled, these kind of plastic bands, especially if it gets caught in the bumper like this. So just be careful with that when you're getting models like this one. I'm not even sure how this comes out now. I'm just going to pull it. There we go. That was a weird noise. I hope I didn't... No, I, I didn't bend it. <laughs> All right, but we got all the straps off. All right, here's our Wrangler out of the box. Of course, with this model, you do get the opening rear um, trunk or hatch. I'm not really sure what this is. Rear, rear door, I guess we'll call it. And then you have the opening front doors. And of course, you have the opening hood. And this does have those latches, which you undo like this, and then just pull it open like so. Looks like a really cool model. I'm looking forward to doing a review on it. Thanks for watching.